The history of Yonge Street is long and storied. However, few truly understand how transportation positively impacted this vital economic corridor. For example, research suggests that as more people started to travel Yonge Street, the need for effective transportation increased. Although Yonge Street was created in 1796, it wasn't until 1849 that the first public transit alternative, horse-drawn stagecoaches, were offered in York, now Toronto. Within a decade, however, the first street railway system was built and became the preferred mode of transportation. However, in the early 1910s, motorized vehicles became more accessible, affordable and popular amongst Canadians. These motorized vehicles also brought about unprecedented economic improvements for retailers and consumers alike. As time went on, cars and trucks became more mainstream. As a result, Young Street as we know it today became an even stronger hub for economic development and an even more significant arterial route. In fact, Young Street in its own right has become a destination for many travelers. It's almost impossible to envision a Young Street that was an ancient First Nations route or portage route, but it is perhaps even more unimaginable to see the need for public transit in 1850. But we sure know safe, efficient and reliable public transportation is needed along Young Street today. We invite you to join us in our journey to revitalize public transit along Young Street.